Hey, what's up? I'm Olivia Rocks, and my new single is called Princess, which you can see on my shirt here. <laughs> Gotta plug the merch. Um, and you know, the meaning behind this song is it's basically about finding true love. And I do think it exists. I think true love is out there. So this is my romanticized version of that, um, kind of taking you into a storybook world, which if you see the music video, it is literally out of a storybook, um, which was really great to bring to life because that was kind of the vision behind the song is kind of taking you out of your everyday life where you know you have your friends at work and school and everything and taking you into this fairy tale realm, um, which was, just so cool getting to see that come to life and everything. Um, and we had, you know, this music video, just while well, I'll go on that for a minute, um, was a blast to make and such an amazing time on set. I had the best time. Um, we actually, we kind of created this from scratch. So we uh, first, I wrote the song, right? And then um, a few years later, we wrote this screenplay for the music video. And getting to actually see those pages come to life with the footage that was filmed at Paramount Ranch um, was magical. Because, you know, you have this in your head, you have these shots, oh, okay, we want the horses and the kids growing up and the gorgeous, you know, Italian prince. And then you actually see it on screen and it's like all of your dreams come true. Um, it was so cool, so, so cool. Um, and just also, quite a uh, moment in history because we filmed it at Paramount Ranch before the Woolsey fires. Um, and so that whole set, unfortunately, was destroyed. Uh, we were one of the last productions to get to film there. I think they're rebuilding it. I hope they're rebuilding it because that was really just a piece of history. And I feel honored to have gotten to um, actually, you know, be there. And it was cool though, because we got to build all these little parts of the video even before we started filming. So all of the wardrobe and the set decoration and, you know, obviously the casting and getting all of those people who were perfect for the roles. That was just as much a part of uh, filming as the actual days on set. Um, we, we were going to estate sales and uh, vintage fairs. Um, trying to find all of these costumes and sets and even like finding the bucket. When we found the bucket, it was like such a feat because we had been looking for a bucket. All we could find were, you know, the ones you buy at Target and all of these like plastic buckets. And we finally found a vintage wooden bucket from the 1900s. And we were so elated over this bucket. I remember my mom and I brought it home and showed my dad and we were all just laughing because we we're like, we've looked so hard for this bucket and we finally found it. And it was like days before filming too that we found the bucket. It was oh, such a great moment. Um, and the costumes, you know, oh, I kind of wish that I could dress like that in real life, but I know I would seem crazy. <laughs> so for the music video, it's perfect. And, you know, getting to wear those corsets and all the giant hoop skirts that make you feel like you're floating. Um, that was really cool. That was really cool getting to build that, um, that whole vibe on set, you know, for everyone and really seeing that all come together with the authenticity of it. That was incredible. Um, I always feel like, you know, if you're gonna create something, if you're gonna create a music video or even just a song, have it be true, have it be a passionate project that you throw yourself into. If you're doing something without passion, you really shouldn't do it at all. Um, so every piece of this music video, every piece of this song was done with passion. And I think, I hope it shines through. Um, when I, I wrote this song um, a few years ago and it was, it was really beautiful to get to write. Um, I write, you know, music and lyrics myself. Um, and I sort of use it as a journal. And I just remember I was down on the basement level and, but it was cool because we had this like little garden out to the side with this fountain. And I wanted to create a story. I wanted to create something that you really felt. Um, I didn't know what it was when I first sat down and by the time like an hour had gone by, everything was written. Um, and I just knew I had something magical there. Um, and then I would play it for all my friends and family and. Uh, and meetings and everything, and then it kind of became synonymous with me as an artist. Um, I just remember I'd be in these meetings and people would go, hey, you play that princessy one that you wrote. 
Um, so it's, it was cool, you know, when it was time to make my debut album, Pop Rocks, I knew that this song had to be on there because it was as much a part of me as um, who I am, and my name and everything, you know, Princess, that was, that was my song for quite a while. Um, so now to get to release it, that feels like um, sort of everything has come together now. You know, that, that perfect defining moment of, okay, it's released. I wrote this. This is, this is what I wanted to share with the world so, for so long. Um, and now it's finally out. So it feels really cool. And I think people um, connect with it because it's, it's the fairy tale dream love that everybody wants. You know, what if I am your princess? Um, if you never pretend, I swear in the end, I'll say I do or I'll still love you. Um, and that's, that's what everyone wants to hear. That's what everyone wants to find. Um, and even in the production of this song, you know, we wanted to um, add in some of that palpable feeling of falling in love. And when you fall in love, one thing that, you know, well, for me, I find is your heart beats so fast. You hear it in your ears and it's like an intense feeling. So we added in this heartbeat um, so, doo, 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 right? So that it's literally an overwhelming feeling of the song, like, oh my gosh, I'm falling for someone. Um, and then we have the amazing Kurt Pascara on drums, um, who he's played with everyone from Elton John and Mick Jagger and just to name like a few, <laughs> it's crazy, Seal. Um, and then we had uh, Steve Ferlazzo on keys. Um, I played the actual piano part to that part. Um, like the do 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 do, I was playing all that, and then uh, Steve came in, and he was amazing. You know, he plays with Avril Lavigne. Um, he was a great addition to the song. Um, we, it was mixed by Mick Gazowski, who's literally the top. He you know mixes everyone from Janelle Monae, Mariah Carey, um, Pharrell Williams. It was just an honor to have him, and I worked with him on um, my entire album, which was really great. Uh, you know, fourteen or fifteen or sixteen time Grammy Award winner. It's crazy, you know, you walk in his house and he has them <laughs> all scattered around. Um, it's really cool, really, really cool. Um, and then my, so my mom is actually um, in the music industry and my dad. Uh, so we all worked together on the production of this song, um, which that was really cool to get to work with them. Um, and they're kind of, <laughs> I was born into a very powerful family in the music industry in that uh, my dad is a jazz recording artist and now he uh, does music festivals. And my mom used to sing alternative rock and now she is a music producer. So I really was born into the perfect situation as a musician myself. Um, that, was, that was pretty cool. So now it's, it's wild because we all complement our strengths and weaknesses in the perfect way. It's almost like a puzzle piece all fitting together. Um, and we all work together in that way. So we produced the song together. Uh, my mom actually directed the music video. Um, we all produced the video together. And it was just, it was really, really cool getting to uh, see that come to life. And this was one of the first projects that we really all did together in that way. Um, and it's, I just think it's, you know, when you find that, when you find that magical team, whether it's uh, someone you're related to or someone you've just met, you have to treasure that, you have to, protect that because once you find that creative team that you work well with, you're never gonna find that again. You have to hold on to that um, and really enjoy it, every moment of it. Um, so yeah, this song, it was a blast to make. I hope that you like it as much as I do. Um, I really just truly, I, I enjoyed every minute of it from the writing of it to uh, the production and even doing the demos with the band, you know, all crammed in. I remember we did like three songs that day we did um, this demo and it was just, just so magical. Such a great experience that I'll hold on to forever. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy it and please go watch the music video and share it if you like it. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.